how to create a golden text, a text that looks like it's written with a gold foil. How to do that in Figma. And just three super simple steps. Let's do that. First of all, what we need to understand that, of course, we need to create first the place where the text will be created. Uh, in this case, we create a frame, 1920 by 1080, which is just a presentation mode, full HD screen, that can be used, by the way, also as a YouTube thumbnail for the YouTube video. All right, now the next thing, uh, in this case, in this specific case, I'll make the background darker, but then I'll show you the difference between the dark background for the gold, gold text and the white background, light background for the gold text. So here, what I'm going to do, 12, 14, 19, perfect, works cool. Next thing, I'm typing golden text here. Let's put it in the middle, command option T to put it in, in, right in the middle. All the things that I'm doing here we already discussed. Yes, I will remind you in almost every single lesson, learn Figma fundamentals first. Don't skip the lessons of the Figma fundamentals module because everything that I'm doing here and I will continue doing later, every single time will work faster and faster and faster. So by the moment when we create uh, websites or mobile applications, we will just use shortcuts and move really, really fast and efficient because that's exactly how I built this course for you. I designed it the way that allows you to go from fundamentals and then little by little improve your skills, boost your skills to a completely new level. So then you work super fast. And that's exactly what we'll do. Text, we created that. 240, just to make it a little bit bigger. Now the magic. By the way, let's make it so you have the same typeface. I'm pretty sure 100% that you have enter. So we'll use enter here. Golden text, here we have it. Step one add gradient. So we click plus, boom, gradient. But for the gradient, we will go from a left, top left corner to the bottom right corner, exactly like that. And now what we will do, we will add additional points of color to our gradient. Now every single point we will, repre will represent some particular color uh, for the gold. And we will not just create, you know, one color and some additional effects there. No, we will create the idea that lights goes down from somewhere to this text. And because of that, we see how this text is playing with this light, playing with the reflection. We will make it cool. We'll make it mind blowingly amazing. And to do that, we will keep the left and right colors pretty dark, but we will work with a hue somewhere between 18 and 25, somewhere there. But let's start with something like 20 for the hue and for the saturation and brightness, we'll put the point, the color somewhere here. We will do the same for the opposite side. We will move it somewhere here. The next color will make it a little bit brighter. We will move it up like that. As you can see, nothing is changing here. Why so? Just because it's better to change it to 100% the color. So we see what's happening on the screen. Next color will be even brighter like this. The next one a little bit darker than the previous one. And the next one is much, much brighter, somewhere here. This allows us to create an even structure that light goes specifically on, in one particular direction on this text. And this is how we create um, this specific effect like of the reflection or the real foil. We, we add realistic something, we add realism to this text. And while it doesn't look like gold right now, well, because gold has some texture. It has some kind of 
I wouldn't say noise, but it's definitely texture. And how to add this texture? Well, that's another magic that we will use. So the first step was to add gradient. The second step will be, it's not the second step yet. This is just the preparation for the second step. And the second step, we go to Unsplash and type texture in the search and find something not colorful, but grainy. Like this is pretty good. This one is really awesome. Oh, I will use this one. I click. Now I have this texture. I take this color from here, Command C, I copy this specific fill layer and I paste it here, Command V. Now I have this texture on the text. If you want to go with this, well, that's fine, it's awesome. You can go with just gray, uh, just with the texture, perfect. But what we are gonna do, so step two is actually to add texture to your text. And now step three, you change the texture to color dodge. Done. Golden text looks mind-blowing and then if you want to play with the reflection if you want to play with colors if you want to play with um, how the light goes specifically on this text just change the color and mostly the brightness of the color that you're using in the gradient and it will create you the effect that you want this is how simple and easy it is in just three steps First of all, you add gradient. Second step, you add texture. Third step, you change the blend mode for the texture to the color dodge. You can play with blend modes and you can find other ways, something like overlay or just hard light, just anything else. But in my opinion, color dodge works the best for this type of effect. And now when you have this text, if you want to, let's imagine, no, not this way. Let's create another version here with a white background. Now it's really a little bit harder to see the bright parts of the text. So what are we gonna do? We go here, select the color of the gradient at, the, at that point and move them down a little bit. In this case, it will allow us to have a really good, to have a really good contrast with a background, with a bright background. And if you remember the lesson about presentations, well, that's exactly how the text was created there. Now you know how to do it, just go and practice. And I'll see you in the next lesson. We'll continue our journey to become, to become a creative, super creative and efficient designer. And I'll see you there.